Recently, there's a boom in the AI agents industry and everyone's been talking about what are AI agents and how does an AI agent work. And then there's the hype about wipe coding. Wipe coding is basically letting AI agents and AI pair programming tools work for you and develop for you. And this term was recently coined in February. Now, what if I told you I just built this AI research agent that actually has a multimodal LLM support research capabilities like web search, Wikipedia, source citation and tracking as well as comprehensive summarization and in-depth analysis. It also goes well with the user experience and we have a whole guide on how to set this up. But before showing you how you can set this up locally on your machine, I'm going to show you a small demo of what this app is capable of. So here I have this running on my local host and you can see the design isn't that great but it's not about the design but the functionality. But later on we will be working on the design as well. But let's just go ahead with the research topic here. So I'm just going to remove this topic from here. And let's just say I want to search on AI engineer. And let's go ahead with open AI. You can go with Anthropic and local models using Ulama. I'm just going to go with open AI. And we have different models from which we can choose. The text color and the drawdown color is white. But we're not going to be talking much about the design. And here we can choose different length for research depth. If it's a short research, it's going to be around a thousand words. Medium is going to be 2000 and comprehensive is going to be 5000 plus words. I'm going to go with medium here. You can check and uncheck the research sources from here like web search, Wikipedia, academic sources, news articles, GitHub repos, if any, on the topic. So let's go ahead and start research. And if you click here, it's going to say researching, please wait. So let's just wait for a while and check out the results. So there you go. We have have the results here this is the summary tab where we have the summary of what this research paper is going to be about then we have the analysis tab here where you have historic context you have current state and important developments you also have something like future implications and much more then you have the sources tab from where you can visit any of these sources. Let's say I want to go with this source here. So it's going to take me to the actual website from where it scraped this data. So it's going to the Microsoft Learn platform here, as you can see. And let's go and actually check out the related topics here. So it gives you even related topics. And if you want to do a next research, you can just click on start new research here. But Another cool feature that I want to show you here is that you can download a PDF by clicking here. There you go. We have the PDF and it will look something like this. So research topic is AI engineer. It even gives you a timestamp on which it was generated. So here's the summary. We have a table of contents. Then we have an introduction, career path, training options. And after the summary, you can see we have the detailed analysis. Next is sources and citations where we have all the citations, all the five sources from where we fetch all this data and the related research topics in detail. I think this is an amazing AI agent to supercharge your search and this is just the first version. I'm going to be upgrading this AI agent in the future. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop the GitHub URL in the video description. So this is a free to use AI agent for all of you. You can just clone this GitHub repo and I'm going to show you how you can set this up. So let's dive right into it and I'm going to show you how you can clone this, set this up locally on your machine, add the configurations, the API keys and get started with your research. Hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is Hosh Mraz and let's get started with setting this research agent locally on your machine. So first thing first, you have to go to code here, copy this URL back in your file explorer in the desired folder where you want to clone this. Just go ahead and open up your terminal and say git clone and paste in the URL that you just copied. Now for this command to succeed, you must have git installed locally on your machine. So make sure of that. Let's hit enter and this will start cloning. Once the GitHub repo is cloned, you can just go ahead and open this up in any of your desired editors. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up in cursor. So once you have your project opened up, let's zoom in a bit. Now there are a few things that we have to do. First is to install all the dependencies. For that, let's just open up our terminal here. And I'm just going to go ahead and say npm install and this should install all the dependencies all the node modules that we need so let's just wait for all these dependencies to install and as you can see now we have this node modules folder here and how does this project know which dependencies to install for that we have the packet.json file so there you go it went on and downloaded 442 packages and everything is fine let's just clear this now the next step is to spin up the local server but before that we have to configure .env.local file. Here you can paste in your OpenAI's API key. 
your database API key if you're using Superbase. If you're not using this and you don't want to have a record or a history of the conversations, you can just leave this as empty. It's an optional feature. Next is the search API. For that, you have to go to Serper, which would look something like this. So I have created a free account with Serper. They're really great. You can go ahead and search the web, whether it's search, news, scholar, or anything over the web. And they give you free API key with around 2,600 to 2,700 credits. So this is more than enough for starters. Later on, you can purchase this. Once you have your search APIs, you're good to go. But let's say you don't want to go with OpenAI or Anthropic. Then you have to go with local models on Olamas. We have the Olama base URL here and you can go ahead and run local models using Olama. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste in my API keys here real quick. So I have my API keys pasted in, in this project. Let's go and run the local development server. So npm run dev here hit enter and this should spin up a local server so there you go you can just click on this url here and this should show you the exact same results that i earlier had which is on localhost 3000 but this one is on localhost 2001 because this one is already running you can go ahead and choose your provider and you can choose your different models from here and the topic so everything is set up you can go ahead and enjoy your research agent locally on your machine and the best part is you can run local models so you don't have to worry about api cost and much more but if you remember at the start of this video i told you guys i'm going to share the secret of how i built this amazing ai tool within barely two hours only using wipe coding so i used cursor ai and claude 3.7 sonnet and i gave it a prompt that we have the basic next.js template but it has to give me a whole project plan to build an ai agent for research so it went on and gave me this whole plan then in the next step i told it to proceed with the best practices and tools and it went on and did all of this for me without me even having to code a single line and i must say there were many hiccups throughout the way there were some errors but as you can see this was a quite extensive chart in which i resolved all those errors using cursor ai and i highly suggest that you guys work on cursor ai if you're into wipe coding now with that secret revealed i have some future plans for this ai agent and for that i went to magic patterns an amazing ai tool yet again that can generate designs so here you can see it has a design and i'm going to implement this design later on this week for my ai agent so you can see this gui is quite cool we have the desktop view we have the mobile view and we can actually export this to figma or we can get the tsx code right here and all i did was just give it a small prompt here and it designed everything for me within barely five minutes so yeah i have great future plans for this and i was working on this fun project so i thought i might as well share this with you guys so i hope this ai agent was worth your time so with that i don't want to wrap this video up if you found this video insightful hit the like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video till then stay curious and keep exploring.